Guys, welcome back to the channel. Duncan Meter here. Uh, today I'm going to be filming from a, a little bit of a different location than I normally do. I'm actually standing behind the camera because I want to show you how to use the Glock speed loader. And I think that I will get a little bit of a better view here um, or a little bit of a better demo uh, if I stand behind the camera. So this device right here, this piece of plastic that you've probably seen when you buy a new Glock, let me just come around here. Uh, you get this and then you usually get two magazines, three magazines, and these pieces kind of fit together like this. Nobody really knows what this is. What is this device? Uh, what does it do? Basically this helps you to load the magazine. So I want to come in close here to the speed loader. This piece of plastic right here, this tab, basically pushes down on the magazine right here to help you put the next round in. So these Glock magazines have very, uh, very hard springs, especially when they're new, and it's very hard to load them. So what I have here on the table, this is a Glock 43. This is a single stack 9mm. This right here is a double stack magazine from a Glock 19. This is a single stack magazine from a Glock 43. The speed loaders come in different sizes. So this one, as you can tell, is a little bit thicker because it's for a Glock 19, a Glock 26, a Glock 17, uh, etc. This is for a Glock 43, 9mm, a Glock 42, uh, 40 millimeter, or 40 caliber. Uh, so, like I said, they come in different sizes based on you know, how you're going to use them. Now, a standard magazine right here, like the Glock uh, 19 magazine, or really any Glock magazine, the way you load it without the speed loader is you take your round and the numbers are going to face towards the back. So the front of the bullet, whether it's the uh, full metal jacket, round nose, the hollow point, whatever, is going to face away from the numbers on the magazine. And basically the way you load it is you take the round with the back of it and you push it here to the front, you push down just a little bit, and then you slide the bullet in under these metal kind of tabs right here. Then you take the next round, you place it on top, basically here, because you can't do it on the metal tab, so you do it right about here. You press down, and then you push it in and you load it. And you'll continue doing that with all subsequent rounds. The problem becomes, as you put more and more and more, and the spring becomes more and more compressed, it becomes very hard to load the next round. That is where the speed loader comes into play. So you take the speed loader and you place it on top of the magazine like this. And I hope you can see this in the camera. This little tab right here, as you push the speed loader down, it pushes the round down so it's easier for you to load it. You then take the next round, you slide it in just a little bit until it can't go anymore because you're hitting the tab. And as you lift the speed loader up, you can push this round in the rest of the way. Then you repeat. So now it's harder to push this spring down. So the speed loader is going to do all the work for you with that tab. It's going to press the round down. You take the next bullet, you put it in. As you're coming up off the speed loader, you can push this in very easy. So once again, speed loader, you push down, take the round, put it in, start coming up off the speed loader because you want the tab to be, you know, get out of the way. And now this is held in by those little metal prongs. You just push it all the way back, and that's it. That is how you use the Glock speed loader. And I'm telling you, it makes it really, really, really easy to load a magazine. Without the speed loader, can you still load it by hand? Absolutely, of course. But I'm going to use this as an example. It becomes exponentially harder because you have to take this round, and you're usually going to use your thumbs, and you're going to press really hard, and you're going to load it. Now, there's nothing wrong with loading it by hand. But if you have this tool that makes it really easy and it saves your thumbs, why would you not use it? It's just, to me, it's just a piece of cake. Uh, you can buy these on eBay. You can buy these at gun stores if you lose it. Uh, I have a whole bunch of them. I keep them in the range bag. I keep them in the car. I keep them back at home because, you know what, they're pretty flimsy. You lose these. I've never had it break, but I've definitely lost them. So I hope this video helps you. This is how you load a Glock magazine and, even more importantly, how you use a speed loader. And just to kind of recap, they make speed loaders for non-Glock magazines. So if you have a Smith & Wesson, if you have a Taurus, uh, whatever the make is, 
uh, you can get a speed loader for it. And so I hope this has helped you. I hope you found it useful. If you could do me a favor, take five seconds. If you could hit like and subscribe, uh, your support really helps my channel and it helps me to know that you guys are watching and that these videos are helpful. Thank you. Have a great day.